What's crack it like in everyone? MGZ here, and I'm Bizak with yet another cryptocurrency video. So let's get after it, guys. So I got my top bitch here, Aki, right now, season two, tearing it up, having a good time. And at the time of this recording, what is today's date? It is the 26th. Bison dropped. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I have yet to try him, but um, I did play Bison for a little bit in season five. So, pretty hype. He looks good. So, here we are. Let's uh, refresh. Market cap 2.37 trilly. We are down 0.9%. Lots of dumpage. Mega hat. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Down 2.2%. Getting a lot of sell action dumpage going on, but uh, you know, nothing has changed fundamentally about our market, guys. You know, a lot of people have like these things they like to say. Uh, when in doubt, zoom out, all the other bullshit, but, you know, the one thing that you just gotta just say to yourself is, what has changed about XYZ coin I invested in? If nothing, then this is just a blip in time, right? 24-hour trading volume, 90.85 billy. We're, just like I mentioned many times before, even during the, the bear market when we were just grinding it out here, Post BTC having at least one or two quarters post having till we start to see the effects. Ooh, look at that gas price, baby. One fig. So, like I mentioned before, just ranging, guys, pretty much. However, a lot of people seem to be bullish on July. I mean, probably because sundress season. That's my guess. But, uh, yeah. I'm hoping that we do get that DeFi sundress season as per usual since 2020. That would be nice if we can get a run back for 24. BTC dominance 50.7, ETH 17.0. And if you're in my Discord, basically the ETF, spot ETF, the process is approved, but not the delivery of the product as confusing as that sounds but i mean hey this is the fucking u.s government we're talking about here right so uh yeah i and i truly believe that you know when ethereum is happy who's happy obviously we are but the alts are happy so you know what i'm saying um yeah i'm uh i'm ready for a five fig ether, ether. that's it's programmed, guys. I'm an actual device. And gas is two figs across the... Two figs. One fig across the board. Eight, eight, seven. Let's go. So we got Bitcoin here. And I do apologize if I sound out of breath. Um, I was cleaning out my HVAC. And uh, I got a really bad cough from that. I seem to be on the upside now. I'm, you know, coughing up stuff. But, uh, yeah. Wear a mask, guys. If you're going to be doing that, if you're going to be servicing your own shit, please do that. Bitcoin, 61,000, down 1.5%. Ethereum, 36, 36, 33 hundo, down 1.4. BNB, 570. Solana season, 135. I really, I truly hope y'all have been taking full advantage of this ranging, guys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, nothing is guaranteed in life, but you know the, the cliche ass term. History rhyming, motherfuckers rhyming right now, guys. And uh, if you have the liquidity and you're not a fucking complete degenerate, scoop up your points, scoop up your favorite coins. You know what I'm saying? Not financial advice. Because, you know, I've been scooping up way more Solana because I know that when Ether starts heating up, Bitcoin starts heating up. We know the Solana season shit's about to pop off too because a lot of the memes still, I'm still in profit, you know what I'm saying? And gosh, let's not even get into base. XRPZ, 46 cents, still hodling my just in case bag. If you've been listening to me through the wire since the bull market, previous bull market, 21, shout out to you. Y'all know that I aped into XRP, what was it, like Q4? 
2022 and parts of 2023 when basically all hope was lost with the case. Like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers were out there saying, oh gosh, we're going to be in, we're going to be in court for another 10 years. Bye, bye, bye. Smashing this shit, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm just standing by, guys. I'm just standing by. Not financial advice for my just in case bet. Because when this motherfucker pops off, mm, that's going to be nice. Ton coin 749. Getting freaky in the encrypted chat section. We got Doge here, 12 cents. Cardano, 38 cents. Holertronics, even though all this shit has been happening. The, the stable coin, that is Tron. We've been looking at it since the bear market at one to two cent, and it's just slowly grinding its way up to 12. Justin Sun must be hyped, 25 bucks for AVAX. My ship, Nota Not 1719, Chain Sync, $14, never selling. We got Polka Dots. 580 Bitcoin Cash 376 Uni 923 Your Protocol 520 Put some respect on Litecoin's name 70 bucks This fucking grandpa chain survived outlived so many projects that were specifically targeting LTC still around man <coughs> Fuck, excuse me guys, rip your ears. You know what I'm saying? This is this is your grand your this is your granddaddy's fucking shit coin right here, straight up. Just like how, you know, your uncle's hip hop is different from today, that's LTC. Still there. Still still confirming blocks. Still having, uh still hodling. Let's get it. We got my Pepe here, not that not one, two, four, eight, five, seven, two. For Leo, my gigabrain strat for investing in this shitcoin because of a particular presidential candidate has been paying, paying dividends. So, not financial advice. And we got Polygon Matic at 55 cents. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Just trying to get that one cough to get that loogie going, you know what I'm saying? I might, I might run off screen just in case. Just want to let y'all know. So that's what's going on with our market here. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a look at Fear and Greed Index. Where the fuck are we? Oh, now we're finally Fear. Last month, last two months, two to three months, we've been Greed. Greed last week. Fear yesterday. What the fuck happened there? Yeah, I mean, BTC was about to hit the 50s, but it did not. Hey. You know, when we get into the charts, my weekly chart for Bitcoin, looking like the couple handy and the, the, the handy part dumps down to about 52, 52K. So, and then of course the run up, right? So that's probably what guys were scared of. And of course now we are fear. Okay, so let's get into it guys. So right now Bitcoin is trading bearish. We can see here in the money flow index, we have sell confirmations as well as bearish divergences this local bottom here at 5 a.m did not pop off at all we're already met with a sell confirmation there we are still looking for a local bottom it's going to close in about 11 minutes more than likely we will bounce off 60,918 pivot low structural support level places that we will get rejected obviously is VWAP since we are trading bearish so lots of volatility guys we are definitely building like this nice little trading range here with the pivot high of 62,005 so you know expect a lot of shorting and longing these small moves here and there you know I mean I'm not actively trading BTC but if I were I'd probably limit order in at VWAP and short, not financial advice, but you know, that's just me. And when we go over to the weekly, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> this was a chart that I posted for y'all a long time ago. You know, that's why I had these divider lines here. I think, yeah, July 1st, basically an entire, <clears throat> excuse me, 
basically an entire quarter post BTC having. So I could see past me's logic. It would have been nice if we if we could just dump down and just flush everyone out at 53k and then just begin the grind back up. <clears throat> I mean, I I postmarked the cup of noodle handy for literally Christmas or New Year's, whatever, right? Honestly, uh, I I would not mind if we get the cup of noodle handy up to 90k by Thanksgiving. That would be nice, you know what I'm saying? Just so we can buy some nice shit, right? During Black Friday. You know what I'm saying? With your gains. So, um, yeah. This is this is looking like it's still in play. And judging by the weekly, we still have a sell confirmation and money flow is moving on down. This is going to close in four days. Let's see. Let's see what happens in four days. What is that? Monday? Uh, let's see if we're going to post a pink or white candle. Hopefully we post a white candle just to you know, flush out more of these guys. If we can get right here to about 53, 52K, that would, that's probably the local, local bottom for me. Or the Q3 cycle bottom, right? And then we're just going to run on up. You know what I'm saying? Not financial advice. We'll see. We'll see, right? Let's take a look at Ethereum real quick. You know what I'm saying? Since the spotlight is on Ether right now with the whole. ETF approval, all the other good stuff. So as per usual arrangement, even though we get logically incredible news in our space, what happens? You know, action to the downside. What else is new? If you've been here, if you've been here for a cycle, at least one cycle, you'll start to notice this shit. And it's, it's just exhausting. Not really. You just look at it. You're like, okay, well. Might as well uh, set a set a limit order or stink bid. See see what happens, right? And right now we're about to close in eight minutes. Ether is trading bearish. Same setup as Bitcoin. If I were to be trading this, I will probably limit order in at VWAP and short. Not financial advice. Let's take a look at the one day here. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go to the two day. Let's see what's crack a lack in here. Okay, so. Wow. Bart Simpson, man. So we got some bearish divergences here. Movement to the downside. Money flow is actually moving into the red on a higher time frame. You know, pretty bad, but that's okay. And we are still looking for a local bottom as well. Same goes with the weekly. This is going to close in four days. Let's see what's going to happen. If we're going to get another white candle or if we're going to get a pink one. Probably if we get more news about the actual deployment date for the spot ETF, we might get some god candles like we did with Bitcoin and then start up the next run up. <laughs> Imagine if we just keep this going like... A, a Soilana spot ETF gets approved and we keep going. BNB, you know, Cardano, unlikely, but that would be nice as well. And we just keep this going. Why not, right? Why not? Why the fuck not? You know what I'm saying? Shit. So, you know, I mean, shit, man. Is this is this copium, boys? Or is this motherfucking looking like a fucking cup of noodle handy as well? I'm going to leave that up to you. So let's take a look at Lux. Oh, okay. We, we, we still got the... We still got the, uh, the... The the Marjorie dump here. I guess I put it on the weekly. Yeah. So when we go to the... When we go to the one hour... Uh, actually, money flow is in the green. And it's been in the green. Peaks and valleys... Uh, this bullish divergence, I'm kind of not buying it, and it's looking like it's starting to top a little bit. However, guys, however, we're about to close in five minutes. In the next five minutes, one or two things going to happen. It's we're either going to create yet another local bottom or a sell. One or the other. I'm going to lean bullish, obviously, because right now Lux is trading bullish. 
price action for the for the one hour. So more than likely, we will bounce off the 262 level VWAP. Now, depending on volume and money flow, we may break through the key resistance level of 282. May or may not. Again, it's depending on liquidity and how the big boys are feeling, Ethereum and Bitcoin. But one thing I can say with 70% certainty, we will probably bounce off VWAP unless Bitcoin just decides to go to 58K right now and take us all down, you know what I'm saying? So that's where my head's at right now. I mean, business as usual, you know what I'm saying? Same old, same old, you know. Take full advantage of Q2, guys. Take full advantage of Q2. Get the shit that you want. Get into these positions that you want. And let the market do the work, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, guys, I'm running out of breath here, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.